Okay, so we're on, um, let's see, page 19. Um, I'm not going to read the Explain 3 section. I'll let you do that for yourself. But we're going to be talking about um, something called the difference of squares. And all the difference of squares is, is when you have a binomial like this, right? When you have x squared minus 25, and, and particularly one that's in this format um, where both this first term and the second term are both what we call um, perfect squares, and they fall into a pattern that, that it's actually kind of nice um, when it comes to factoring. So, um, so for example, x squared, right, is a perfect square because um, you can also rewrite this as x times x, where um, 25 is also a perfect square because it's 5 times 5, right? And so whenever you have two perfect squares that are being subtracted, hence the name difference of squares, you can write it in this format where one is plus, one is minus, and then you just take the, the, the square root of one and the square root of the other and just fit into this format where x plus 5 times x minus 5 um, becomes the factored form of that original binomial. And so um, if you don't believe me, go ahead and you, you can multiply this out right, using the box method um, and, and you should come out to the same original binomial form here. So um, let's let's practice this a couple times and, and you'll see why this is so nice. So for example, we have another difference of squares here where the square root of x squared is just x. The square root of 49 is just 7. So it's a nice perfect square. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to write plus, minus, and then write the uh, square roots here. So x and 7, x and 7, and so uh, here we go, we're done. x plus 7 times x minus 7. Okay. Question number 2, unfortunately we can't do this because um, it's not a difference of squares, this is an addition of squares, and um, uh, this is not factorable any more than it already is. So your answer is just x squared plus 25. All right. This is already its fully factored form. Okay. Question number 3, though, we can further factor this because this is a perfect square. Um, which whose square root is 2x, right? And we know this because 2x times 2x gives us 4x squared, and the square root of 64 is just 8. So we fit it back in this format again, where 1 is plus, 1 is minus, and we fit the square roots in here, 2x and 8, 2x and 8, and there we go. Those are our answers. All right? So, so that was the first page. Oh, we have a couple more examples here. 9x plus 49. We have a plus here, so we can't factor that any further. It's already factored. Okay, and then here, um, unfortunately, we can't get a square root of of, uh, tens, uh, of 10, right? 10 doesn't uh, lend itself to being a perfect square, so um, we can't factor it any further, so we're just going to say already factored.